All right, so for the final video of this series, I wanna show you something that is not as exciting as the other tips that I share with you, but it's crucial and it is how to save all the hard work that you put into customizing your, uh, your new device. So essentially how to back up your settings and restore them if you need to. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. All right, so here we are in the Wacom Center. And of course, this is the place where we've uh, assigned the different express keys, uh, the custom menus. We created uh, the on-screen shortcuts like all of these radial menus, the grid panels, and all of that. So if you spend a couple of days, a week, a day, whatever it is, creating all of these, it is crucial that once you're happy with your workflow, that you save the settings so that you don't lose them in whatever the case might be. Maybe you do a, a driver's update or whatever the case might be, you might lose something. So just to be safe, once you're happy with everything that you've done, I would just recommend that you do a backup. So to do that, you just need to click on the gear icon here on the top right, click on that, and we have the general settings, device manager. I have this red dot because I think I haven't registered this. Um, and then you have the backup and store. So this is what you want. Let's click on backup and store. And as you can see, I don't have any backup just yet, but I should do that. So let's go ahead and click on new backup. And I'm gonna call it all settings, all settings. Let's call it all settings, whatever you want to, uh, to name it is fine. So let's click on save. And it's gonna create the backup with the name all settings and it's also gonna attach the date to it. Now, this is great. You can save multiple backups as soon as you do a change or you update one of your, um, I don't know, your radial menus or you come up with a new one, you're learning a new software. Uh, you can just go ahead and do a new backup and you can restore different points in there. All right, so the way that you restore some settings is pretty straightforward. You can just go ahead and click on restore from any of the saved uh, backups files. Now, one of the things that it is a bit puzzling, and this is the reason why I wanted to do this tip because everything that I've shown you so far is pretty straightforward. But if you wanna change to a different computer, or if you wanna, I don't know, save your settings into a file because you wanna back it up in an external drive, there is no option here to save into a file. However, there is an import backup file. So if you click on import backup file, it's going to give you, um, I think it's called Wacom Pref um, extension. And that is a file that stores all of your settings, but there is no way of doing it here. So the way that this works, and here is a tip, uh, you need to go to your program files, and this is obviously for Windows. Um, so the Mac, you know, would be pretty much the same, just replace this, this file with um, <laughs> however Mac works. But if you go to your program files, tablet, then Wacom, then you'll find this little pref utility. So the preference utility. And I'm showing you this little screenshot in here because there is, uh, it is a little bit hard to, to find. And sometimes if you just like uh, type it in, in Windows Pref Util is not going to come up. So make sure that you go into whatever this file is. So the Wacom folder in on the tablet on the program files and double click on the preference utility. All right, so if you click on that, let me just bring it in. It is a very simple, you know, uh, little application, little window that allows you to save your preferences as a file. So now what I can do is I can click on backup and it would open up this browser here. I have a temporary folder in my desktop. I can just go ahead and give this any name that I want to. And you see it is Wacom or the extension is dot Wacom prefs. And I can go ahead and save that in there. All right, I'm not gonna do it because this is not where I save my preferences, but you can save this file wherever you want to. And this is how you can um, restore it from here. You can use the preference utility by clicking on restore in case the, the Wacom Center doesn't work, but you can still use this one. Or you can just go ahead and click on import backup file. And that is the type or the extension file that you can import to restore your settings. So that's it for this video. And with this, we also conclude the entire series of tips and tricks for Wacom. Um, hopefully everything that I've shared in these videos have been of help or at least inspire you to do something or create something. Uh, but if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. You can follow me on social media at Pablander. And we also have a Discord community where you can you know, join. It's free to join and you can ask questions. And we, uh, we're trying to run uh, more regular live streams as well. So anything that you want to ask, I'm going to be there uh, to help. All right, so I'll see you in another video. Cheers.